Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past, and more. I got this on a telegram channel called Antiquity Research Archive. Please check the description to know more about the channel. There are many interesting topics on the channel, and not all of them can be covered here. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The Importance of Sophistication The Real Origin of Religious Customs Part 3 and 4 For those of you who missed the story, you can watch the previous part in the previous separate videos. Please check the description below. As we discussed earlier, there is an entrepreneur, writer, and scientist named Dr. Masaru Emoto, who was awarded the Pseudoscience Medal of Honor, discovers something that changes everything. His discoveries proved that the spoken word, even through multiple languages, has a clear good and a clear bad. They are not subjective or up for interpretation. Some words are positive and some are negative. All animals on earth hear and perceive our words in the same way that we do. More importantly, our body has a very large amount of water, up to 70% apparently, so that means any and all words that reach your body will affect the water and blood in your body and therefore affect your health and performance. This supports many religious practices in a huge manner. So much so that it very strongly looks as though the originators of these customs actually understood the science. If so, then this question remains, how did they know about this? Emoto's experiment did not stop there. He not only tested this phenomena with spoken word, he also tested different types of music. Here we see that pleasant music is reflected in water with pleasant patterns, exactly how pleasant words are reflected in water with pleasant patterns. This means that it isn't just spoken word that affects our health and performance in this manner, it is all sounds around us that come into contact with our bodies, which again, are 70% water. Conversely, negative music impacts our performance negatively. This is the result of loud music full of angry and vulgar lyrics. The result is similar to that created by you fool. Indicating that water responds more to words than to music. The motto. Men, do not refrain from angry music just yet. I will explain its usefulness later. For females, I'd recommend not listening to angry music at all. Here's what this heavily supports. 1. All musical church performances have a real scientific purpose, which is increasing health and productivity, which is why they were put in place to begin with. 2. In addition, any other positive musical performance may have a similar effect. Again, this supports more religious practices and traditions. All pleasant sounds positively affect our health and performance. It is beginning to look as if the originators of these religious practices knew a lot more than we thought. This further implies that music is objective, not subjective. There is a clear good and a clear bad, and the water reveals this fact. And what about praying? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update and watch to the end to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. There is something extremely important that I did not yet tell you in this series. Do not ever forget this. There is technology to eavesdrop on conversations from miles away with no microphone. With crystals. He found to his very great amazement that he was tuning, not radio stations, but local neighborhoods. No microphones were present. 
Dr. Moray's inventions, eternal lanterns. With nanotechnology. They're basically talking about injecting people with nanotechnology that will allow us to remotely monitor them. The only safe place to talk about it is far away from cell phones and other devices. I suggest going deep in the woods. We can see you, but we can't hear you, yet. NWO Tech Insider If mortal man can pull this off, you can bet your life that the creator can as well. In other words, if you believe this world was intelligently designed, do not think for a second that the creator isn't listening. Praying is legitimate, and it always has been. Anyways, it is not just sounds that affect our health, but all visuals. Every bit of light that comes into contact with our bodies, affect our performance. Knowing this, here is what also supports our health in conjunction with sounds. 1. Proper attire, dress code. 2. Proper etiquette. 3. Pleasing art. 4. Pleasing architecture or design. 5. Simply smiling. As expected, this again strongly supports religious traditions. The originators of Christianity and other religions knew of this secret, and that is why they cared so much about dressing nicely, speaking nicely, playing nice music, writing in cursive, and constructing the most grand art and architecture the world has ever seen. It all points to old forgotten knowledge of water memory. It is so obvious. To think that so many of these religious practices just coincidentally happen to perfectly coincide with this new knowledge of water is preposterous. They knew about the science, and it was long forgotten, until now. Think about what we have here. 1. A brilliantly designed buildings. 2. The shape also designed to resonate like the inside of a guitar. 3. Used for voice-related activities. 4. Used for prayer, spoken word-based activities. 5. Used for water-based activities. If it isn't already obvious that the original masterminds of these religious institutions knew about water memory, then you need to pay closer attention. Why do you think we love symmetry and objects? Why do we love the sounds that we love? Why do we like the look of artistic masterpieces? Most importantly, why do we love the laugh of a joyful child? Because it is naturally and undeniably pleasing. Fractal antennas work in the same manner. Because of their symmetry, the signal is greatly amplified. One could say that when looking upon a pleasing face, our happiness is amplified in our minds because of its perfection. Why do you think it feels like your energy is being depleted from you when you are around a disjunct or depressing atmosphere? Why do you think it feels like your energy is being depleted from you when you are around depressing or disgusting people? Why do you think that children can be traumatized by verbal abuse alone? Even if the child in question does not know your language, do you really think they won't be traumatized? It is because some things we can see and some things we can hear are objectively bad and will adversely affect our mental and physical health. Our eyes and ears only translate this phenomena into a medium that our conscious mind can easily detect. In truth, you do not need eyes or ears for sounds and visuals to affect you. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.